what is going on ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another bitcoin daily video in today's video we're talking about a recap of what happened over the weekend we're gonna do an analysis on bitcoin and come up with some trade setups for this week guys make sure that you like and subscribe guys hit that notification bell and drop a comment let us know if you've been in this bull run and if you guys are interested in using the exchange that we use uh, we use Bybit and in the description we have a link where you guys can sign up through that and uh, you'll be able to get some rewards on your initial deposit up to around a hundred dollars or more so without further ado let's jump right in guys Alrighty, ladies and gents, my name is Jay and welcome back to another Bitcoin daily video. Before we start and we jump into the nitty gritty, let's take a look at uh, the recap from the trade setups that we uh, from Friday's video. So the first trade setups that we that we spoke about was that Bitcoin breakout entry, which was at twenty three thousand three hundred. And if you entered that, that ran all the way up to twenty four thousand three hundred guys, which was a new all time high, um, which if you would have used 10 X leverage, you would have made about a forty three percent profit on that move. Insane, guys. Um, the next entry, which happened earlier today, um, this morning was the support entry that we spoke about on friday's video so that was we spoke about if we saw a pullback that we were going to buy at twenty two thousand three hundred. that was the support entry we we're looking at um if you entered at that at this support entry this morning that ran up all the way to twenty three thousand three hundred for a plus 45 percent profit um and the last one was the ethereum breakout entry which ran from 655 to six hundred and seventy dollars which would have been around eleven percent profit guys so make sure to watch this full video so that you don't miss out on more profits guys we've been hitting all of these trade setups that we've been speaking about and uh and, and you know mentioning in the videos every time we mention a trade setup is for a reason it's because it's a level that we're watching and it's a possible entry you know what i mean so um, if you've been taking those trade setups and making profits, congratulations, guys. Um, so let's jump right into this chart, guys. So this is the Bitcoin chart. As you guys can see, we had this massive, not massive, but we had this small pullback today. Um, I'm sure everybody's freaking out a little bit. You know, anytime they see red in the chart, you know, they get a little, a little scared. So uh, let's talk about it, right? So what we're watching right here, what we're looking at right here, if, you, if we look at the longer term, um, you know, of, of this pattern, uh, you see that we'll, we're still in this channel right here, right? So um, we had bounced all the way up. This was a big impulse move from last week. And then we had this uh, bull flag setup, which we entered on that breakout. Boom, we hit new all time highs. And then we kind of uh, consolidate, consolidated there a bit. Um, we had this rejection from the all-time highs um, back down here to the bottom to these lows from this bull flag, right? So these are previous lows from the previous range. So um, right now what we're watching are these two ranges. We're watching the bottom of this previous range right here, which as you guys can see, we had a bounce there. And then we're watching the top of this range. So this is basically the all-time high range. This is currently where we're trading, right? So we're trading between uh, these lows and these highs. So that's that's what we're watching right now. Um, if we break below these lows, though, um, that next level we're looking at is around that twenty-one thousand six hundred, which is this Fibonacci, this Fibonacci level. I was gonna say Fibonacci. Who's Fibonacci? This Fibonacci level right here, right? And then that next level is the 23.6% Fibonacci level, which is 20,800 around there, right? It's around the 20,600 to 800 range. Um, so that's currently what we're watching. That's what's on our radar right now. Um, now, one thing to note here, guys, we have, we've had a bearish divergence, right? So you can see that the price has been going up, up, and up. We've been setting up higher highs, but the um, RSI over here, momentum indicator, has been going down, right? 
So we've spoken about this several times on several videos and we made a tutorial on how to spot divergences and how to trade divergences. Um, so hopefully you guys have paid attention and know exactly what this means. So whenever there's a divergence on the chart, it means that the price and the momentum are not in agreement. So usually that means one, a pullback, two, uh, consolidation, right? It's because they have to get back in agreement. As you guys can see here, we have that high, which is this high, but then look at this, look at this low when there's another high, right? So it's not making sense. It's not uh, cooperating, it's not in agreement. So whenever there's anything like that, um, that means that there has to be, something has to change within the price action so that it gets back in agreement. So um, that that's a possibility as to why we uh, saw this big drop here um, because of this right here, right? So that's, that's one of the possibilities as to why that happens. Um, and another thing, obviously we're at all time highs. So there's just gonna be sellers up here, right? So right now what we're, what we're watching is either a breakout back to that upside. Um, that's obviously a trade that we're, that we're looking at, a breakout to that upside and a breakout to that upside, then we're, we're looking at basically 25K, right? We're, then we're, we're watching this level right here, which you probably can't see because my face is in the way. Um, but that level right there, right? So that 25K level is that next level that we're gonna be watching if we were to break out of here, right? So, but right now for the moment, this is this is what I'm seeing, right? Um, we have the, the bearish divergence, so we need probably some sort of pullback, which is already happening. We have this pullback right here. And then um, we need the RSI and the price action to get back in agreement. So we could possibly see a bounce at these levels here, right? So we saw a bounce right here. Um, we could see another bounce if we if we go test these levels again. That 22,300 level is a very important level. Um, if we break past that level, then we can possibly come down lower to 22,000 which is right there, or to this Fibonacci, this first Fibonacci retracement level, which is around 21,600. So if we were to break under 22,300, um, that's kind of, uh, that 22K is gonna be that first test, and then uh, 21,600, that second, if that doesn't hold, we could continue lower to, um, to this fib, uh, retracement zone, which is around 20,800, and then that final one, which was around 20,000. That will be the biggest support that we have. Uh, and I'm hoping we don't fall below that because if we fall below that, then we could be going, you know, as far as this right here, that's 61.8%, which is around 19,000, right? Um, and then we have that 78, which is around 18, and just basically a full retracement down here from the takeoff, which is around 17. So um, that's currently what we're watching um, right now in Bitcoin. Now, so for, for trade setups that we're looking for, it's going to be back here at this uh, 22,300 range. So same setup from, um, from Friday's video. What we wanna see is um, the same thing that happened here, right? We want to see the price go down and then bounce back up. So we want to buy on that bounce. We don't want to buy on the on the fall, right? Because if it just keep, if you if you buy when it's falling and then it just keeps falling, you're gonna stop right out. Or if you don't use a stop, you're gonna have a big loss. But if you wait for it to fall and then buy as it bounces back, now you have it's a higher probability trade. So that's the first trade that we're looking at. We're looking for this right here. Um, the second trade that we're looking at, we're probably going to be watching for a breakout above that 23,000 zone. Um, if we get, if we get like the same way we saw right here, um, if we see it go back above 23K, then we're looking at a uh, breakout entry there to try to see if we can ride it back to the top of this range, which is around right here, which is back to the all time highs, right? 
So you see how we've been in this range, we bounced, we got rejected, came down, uh, went back up, got rejected again. Now we came down again. Now we're looking, you know, for this bounce back up and that could possibly retest the all time highs one more time or break the all time high and go directly to that 25 range, right? So that's what we're watching right now in Bitcoin. Those are the setups we're watching. And, and of course, beyond 23K, then we're looking at uh, breakouts above that all time high. Um, and, and 24K, it's a big, nice big hole number, but there's a lot of consolidation there. That's pretty much it, guys. We're only, today we're only covering Bitcoin because it took so long to cover it. And because of course, Bitcoin is a king um, of all coins, right? So whatever Bitcoin does, everything else is gonna follow. But I will tell you that uh, for Ethereum, the main level that you should be watching is 620. That is the main level you should be watching there. As you guys can see, we fell below it. And um, you see, I have it highlighted because that's the main level I'm looking at. Um, and we're currently getting rejected by it. But that's the level that we're looking at for any type of entries there in Ethereum. If we drop back down, uh, 600 would be that next entry level. Um, and then it will be this right here, which is around that 580 range, as you guys can see a lot of consolidation there. That's it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. We got over 500 views and 31 likes, guys. Make sure to continue to smash that like button, guys. Make sure to continue to subscribe to the channel. We're up over 2,300 subscribers now, guys. Our goal, our next goal is 5,000 subscribers, guys. So let's continue this. Let's keep it up, man. I appreciate everybody. It's been one hell of a year. All right, guys. Thank you so much. I will see you in tomorrow's video. As always, peace and love. I'm out.